I think tonight will probably was probably Coleman's last fight in the UFC. Yeah. Listen, he looked good against Bonner. He looked good against uh, you know one of the one of the things I think about, um, and I'm not taking anything away from Mark Coleman. I have nothing but respect for him, and, and you know, and, and I'll say this now too. Mark Coleman's always been a stand-up guy with me, and he'll always be a part of this organization. You know. Um, I just think he's, he'll have a hard time competing with the guys at the top of the level, you know, and, and uh, age is a factor with him. Before you know? this fight, did you talk to Coleman? Uh, was this uh, on the table that this was a possibility? No, no. Um, this fight was a dream for Coleman. It was it was a dream of his to fight Randy Couture, and he wanted this thing bad. And he said it best at the press conference. He said, Randy Couture has accomplished a lot of things, has a lot of things, and I want to take some of those things from him on Saturday night. You know, and he went in there and, and, and wasn't able to do anything. He didn't get off. Uh, you know, Randy pretty much beat him everywhere, you know? Do you think Coleman's going to be accepting of that, though? Do you think he feels the same? I mean, does a, be a is a fighter ever accepting of, you know, or, or any top athlete? It's it's tough to say it's over and i got to hang it up. It's, it's the hardest thing in the world. And I hate dealing with it. It's, it sucks. If he went out and got a win somewhere else and then you could make a good promotion against Tito with some of the heat there, would it be worth bringing know. him back? I, I don't know. You know Tito's it. a lot younger than him and everything else. And Tito's, Tito's talking shit to Coleman after Coleman just lost, you know, this fight that he's wanted his whole life. And, you know, and, and Tito's fighting Chuck. It's, you know, I'm not even thinking about Tito Coleman. What about Coleman, Jenna? Because Jenna flipped him off, too. <laughs> Did she really? <laughs> yeah. Jesus well, Christ. the history there is DeSabato called her a whore so, a, a while back. Before 106, uh, Mike DeSabato, Coleman's buddy. So there's a little heat there. So what, what's that got to do with Mark? You know? Because Mark, Mark was called a sissy by Tito when he pulled out a 106. Right. So then DeSabato went crazy. And called her a whore. Did, yeah. But Mark didn't, you know? So... I don't know, man. This is all the fucking kindergarten shit that I have to deal with every day. I'm a glorified babysitter. That's that's what I am. High school bullshit aside.